Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a great day. In this video guys, this is part 5 of my 12 GPU mining rig condo project, okay? Now, in the last episode, the last part 4, I already tested the two 6 inch inline fans that are 124 mil and obviously it didn't work. I showed two tests where I had one intake and one outtake. Obviously that didn't work. And then I tried again with two exhausts and it worked a little bit better, but not as good as I, as I wanted it to be. The RX 570s were definitely still hotter, but these two rigs here, which are my buddies, they were pretty, pretty good in terms of the temperatures when I had the two exhausts. So I'm happy about those two, but not happy about this, I guess, cause maybe it's higher. So the heat, obviously heat rises, right? In the last couple comments, in the last couple videos of the mining rig condo project here, some of you mentioned that I would need much higher CFM instead of the two six inch inline fans that I have here. So I have already gone ahead. I have received the eight inch VivoSan inline fan, 800 CFM. And as well, I have the silencer for it as well, or they call it a muffler which will hopefully lower the decibel rating about 50%. And the reason why I got the muffler slash sli silencer because I need to lower the sound in where I do my recording in my room here because I can't have a loud grow tent in this room while I'm recording videos or else my mic is gonna pick up super loud fan noise which is unacceptable and <laughs> all my videos are probably going to have fan noises in the background which you guys will probably not appreciate but that's why I got that and as well I have the homey cloth window seal for portable air conditioner so this will go around the window okay so this will go around the window that's there makes a seal so that none of the air or heat comes back in or back out per se so just I'll have the hoses going through the window as well guys, you guys may wonder why I have these two H110 Pro BTC Plus boards. I ordered them on Amazon. They're not meant for any of these rigs here, but they're meant for my second mining location on that RX480 rig that I showed you guys in the past couple of videos, so stay tuned for that as well. Okay, so not only did I order the 8-inch inline fans and the muffler, uh, the 8-inch ducting, but I also have these 15 Arctic cooling 120 millimeter fans that are gonna go on these three VETA frames right here, okay? Now, I have absolutely no idea if that's gonna make much of a difference. A lot of people on my Discord say that's probably not gonna do much, but you know what, I'm, I'm willing to try. And they were pretty cheap anyway on Amazon. And as well, I picked up two fan controllers. So these are the Deep Cool FH10 10 port PWM fan hub. So there's 10 ports on this thing. I'm gonna use one for the 6x RX570 rig at the top. So there'll be 520 millimeter fans with this. And then the other 10 fans will be for the other PWM fan hub, which will go for my 12 GPU condo project, which is for this one. And these cards are coming guys, so please stay tuned. Should be real good, should be real good in the next couple episodes. Hopefully they'll come in the next week or so. All right guys, so anyways, let me get started. I'm going to time lapse everything. So please enjoy the possibly cleaning and putting in the 8 inch ducting and uh, that window seal thing. Oh, this is a lot of work guys. But anyways, let's get started. I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys soon.
All right, guys, it's all done. Eight inch inline fans in, the eight inch ducting is in, homey win window seal is in. I was thinking I do need to put some duct tape around the ducting and the window seal because I did feel a little bit of air come through, so I'll do that later. And the 120 millimeter fans for the RX570 build is there. And you guys can see the ambient temperature inside. I have all the miners on right now. They're all mining. I think it's been about five or 10 minutes now. So we're at 94 Fahrenheit and ambient temperature outside the tent right now is 88 Fahrenheit. Okay, so not too bad. As you guys can see, the tent right now is pretty concaved in. I don't know if I can do this good representation here. I don't know if you guys can see that through my phone. But yeah, look at that. It's pretty sucked in and also it's really, really bent in inside this way as well. So we got a lot of good negative air pressure sucking all the heat out this this eight inch inline fan is really strong like got a little bit of ducting on the right of it on the left of it sorry and of course it goes up into this into the top of the grow tent actually i forgot to mention one more thing i did not add this silencer this muffler from vivo sun okay this is the eight inch muffler and the reason why i didn't add it is because it didn't do anything i did a test on the floor with the with the inline fan and the muffler and also I did a test with just the 8 inch ducting and I did a comparison and honestly there was not much sound difference from this and the 8 inch ducting. To be honest right now the fan is not even that loud at full blast. Like I could probably still record videos here fine. I don't know if you guys can hear it through my phone but probably but it's in, in through my ears right now it's, it's really not that loud. I'm gonna return this to Amazon don't need this it was it, this thing's also just way too big but yeah it didn't work in my experience all right guys so let me just go ahead and we'll see what the gpu temperatures are right now all right guys so let's take a look at the six gtx 1063 gigabyte rig and as you guys can see after about let's see how long we've been running 29 minutes 32 minutes yeah 32 30 minutes uptime so far we got 62 degrees, 60 degrees, 61, 59, 57, and 60 degrees. That's really good on these GTX 1060s. Definitely, that's where they're supposed to be, just like when they're in open air. Now, let's take a look at the five RX 580s. So, we're about at 56 degrees, 58 degrees, uh, 60 Celsius, 59 degrees Celsius, and 60 degrees Celsius. And this is about at 30, 31 minutes uptime now, guys. Temperatures are looking real good, real good. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy right now. Ah, oh. all right. Now, the infamous RX 570, six RX 570, four gigabyte cards, which always run very hot. Okay, let's take a look here. 33 minutes uptime. Okay, 67 degrees, 64, 64, 62. 64 and 71 ooh okay so <clears throat> that last card's not looking pretty not looking well but i mean i mean otherwise though i i wasn't getting these temperatures before my uh grow tent so just minus that last card so i'm gonna figure that out but otherwise man guys the eight inch inline fan from vivo sun 800 CFM is working real well. Let's just actually compare back to my my last video where in the part four video where I did the two exhaust six inch fans and you guys can see the temperatures were 72, 68, 71, 79, 75 and 77. So to have this up now you know at 34 minutes uptime compared to the nine minutes uptime on the, you know, these high temperatures before, oh, 77. Uh, you guys can see now, 67, 64, 64, 63, 64, 71 at 34 minutes in now. So I am super happy with the result with this grow tent. I think the temperatures are real good. I think I'm gonna go, you know, just make sure the motherboards and power supplies uh, I'm not sure how I'm gonna test out the temperatures on those, but I'm very happy with this. I think this was a success. Let me know what you guys think. Oh, I'm, I'm losing my voice. I'm losing my voice. But let's see what the temperatures are inside the tent and outside. So, let's take a look here. It's about 90 uh, ambient outside in, uh, in my condo here. 
and it's 99 Fahrenheit inside the grow tent. So, I mean, that's not too bad. I think before we were getting like, what, 110 or something? But the cards are running much better. And also, I wanted to talk about the 120 millimeter fans that I added for the 570 rig, which usually runs hot. So I think, I don't know if these helped or not, or the 8 inch fan, 8 inch fan helped, but uh, I think a combination of having these fans and having the 8 inch inline fan definitely helped out the temperatures for this whole grow tent and the cards. So I'm gonna say that is a success guys. Oh my goodness, man. I was, I was stressing out wondering if this wasn't gonna work or not, but honestly, it, it's working out real well. I'm gonna go ahead and duct tape that later after this video. I'm excited now. I'm excited to have all this stuff working and just leaving it, gonna leave it running. It's not over yet. Once I add in the 12 GPUs that I just ordered, should be coming in any day now. I have to add those in and that's gonna add into the heat as well. So it might raise the ambient temperature. These cards might get hotter. Oh, I'm gonna run into maybe a few more problems. I don't know. Well, obviously I will document all that stuff for you guys. So stay tuned guys. And if you guys think I can do anything better, let me know. I have the intake. I have this, this window open and I have the cold air from my condo coming in. And so that, those two are open. These are the only two things that are drawing the air inside the tent. So I think that's good guys. Anyways guys, let me know what you think. I appreciate you guys so much. Smash the like button. Oh, I'm, I'm losing my voice. <coughs> I'm losing my voice. But anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one, guys. And peace out.